Hello and a very warm welcome to the Borussia Park Stadium. It's match day 11. What an afternoon of entertainment we have lined up for you today. Borussia Mönchengladbach against Bayern Munich. It's a classic. The 85th time these two teams have met in the Bundesliga. This is the lineup for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Heimerot in goal, Daims, Anderson, Schachten and Levels in the back. Neustetter with Royce and Bradley in the midfield, along with Bobadilla, Hamann and Idrisu up front. Bayern Munich, the same team that ran out midweek in the Champions League against Kludge with uh, no changes at all. Thomas Muller on the bench, so Gomez up front for them. Kors, Schweinsteiger, Altin top, Ottel and Timoshuk in the midfield. Pranic, Dimakilis, Van Boyten and Philipp Lahm. The defence, Hans-Jörg Butt in goal for Bayern Munich. As I mentioned before, no starting place again for Thomas Muller. Bayern haven't lost any of their last nine Bundesliga games against Gladbach. They've had five wins and four draws, losing just one of the past 15 encounters overall. But who knows, this is football, of course, and anything can happen. And that's why we love it. The referee for today's game, Knut Kauscher, leading out the teams. Of the last eight Bundesliga matches at Gladbach, however, Bayern have only just won once. They've had five draws and two defeats, so not completely as uh, dire as it might seem. Although, Michel Fransek said before the game, they do go in very much as the underdogs. They'll be buoyed up by the return of Bobadilla, who was uh, left out of the squad last time for disciplinary reasons. Hopefully, he will have some kind of effect on the team, as as well will the uh, extension of the contract with the youngster, Mr. Royce, Marco Royce, extending until 2015. So, Philip Dems and Philip Lahm, the two captains. Handshakes all round. And they're going to stay as they are. Confirmation again, Knut Kerscher. Vastly experienced referee in the Bundesliga. Also a FIFA referee. And last little huddle for the teams. So it's the Reds of Bayern Munich, the visitors, that will be kicking off. Gladbach's worst ever home defeat against Bayern was on the 24th of March 1979 and they demolished Gladbach 7-1. Three of the goals coming courtesy of one Mr. Karl-Heinz Grummenegger, current chief executive officer of Bayern Munich. So, will this be a whitewash or will Gladbach have a little bit of grit and determination. I very much expect that will be the case. Always a special game between these two giants of German football. If you're just joining us after the kickoff, I'm Phil Bonney. I'll be with you throughout the match. Back in the 70s, in the late 60s, these two teams very much sharing the German championship between them. Went to either one or the other. Five times to München Gladbach and four times to Bayern. Timoshuk misses the foot in. Bobadilla, chance to open the scoring, but only puts it straight into the arms of Jörg Butt. A good sign early on from Gladbach. Good work from Gomez. Schweinsteiger. Was he brought down by Bradley? Yes, he was. The referee on hand. Just caught him on the top of his foot. And this is the opportunity from Bobadilla. Side foots it, but not with enough accuracy. So the first free kick of the game, Tony Kors. 
And that's the only chance this time for Schweinsteiger. So, two good chances in the opening two minutes. And let's hope the game stays like that. Three points, very important for both sides. You'll notice uh, Christopher Heimerbold in goal for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Bailly allegedly out with flu, but it has been well known that uh, his performances have not been exactly what uh, the bosses at Gladbach really would like to see. This is Ottl. To Pranic. Some of these Bayern Munich players benefiting from injuries to their colleagues. Ottl's one of them. We were possibly expecting to see Frank Ribéry on the bench today, but due to a family bereavement, his comeback has been postponed. Barge Stuber is out as well. Contento, another of the defenders, out. They should be back in uh, the not-too-distant future. Levels getting stuck in. wins the throw. Robin, of course, uh, is probably out until after Christmas. Clauser should be back in uh, a few weeks' time. And the big blow recently for Bayern Munich is the injury to Ivica Orlic. And he might be out for the whole of the season with ligament and cartilage damage on his knee. Royce trying the cross, keeps the ball in, here's Levels. Oh, it's gone in! The ball is in the back of the net and Jörg but can't believe it. What a fantastic piece of luck, it must be said, for Gladbach, but they all count. And Hans-Jörg Buch, uh, that certainly reminds me of that goal. Ronaldinho scored against Brazil, it was a cross. But was off his line, and the ball's in the back of the net. What a shock for Bayern Munich. Very reminiscent of that goal in the World Cup against David Seaman. Patrick Hammond adds to his tally of two already this season with his third goal of the season. Bayern Munich just cannot afford to lose this game. They need to keep up with the teams at the top, but that will certainly put some fire into the boiler of the good ship. Borussia Mönchengladbach. Last season, this was a 1-1 draw. Bayern Munich won 2-1 at the Allianz Arena. Of course, the other thing that this just might do is it might stir up a hornet's nest. Bayern Munich don't take that kind of thing lying down. But a big shock for them, certainly. Gladbach as well with a few injuries. Dante, Dorda, Juarez, Arango suspended. Janschka, Marks already mentioned, is uh, suspended for uh, just the one game after picking up five yellows at Kaiserslautern. And Karim Matmore is out as well. He goes Royce again. Oh, he was unlucky there. Timachuk got a foot in. Now Mario Gomez. Dems hassling him all the way. And forcing the error. Patrick Herman's cross. That somehow turned into a goal. Oh, 
expect he'll be looking at that a few times after the game. hans jörg but got his Bundesliga debut against Borussia Mönchengladbach for Hamburg. And he's never lost to them. Nine wins, nine draws. Some glum faces. Andres Jonka, Hermann Galland and uh, Louis van Gaal. Possibly that 4-0 away win in Kludge in Romania. Leaving the Bayern team just a little bit tired. Well, they'll certainly be awake now. Oh, given away, Bradley. Got in there, Herman. Gives it straight back. Otto to Altintop. Philip Lahm there. Giving the ball across to Ottel. He's just extended his contract to 2016. So that's good news for all Bayern Munich fans. Course into the centre. Hooked away, though. There was a possible hand there. Referees allowed play to continue. Long to Altintop. Long again. Crosses deep. Gomez isn't there, though. He was on the front post. Well, the last time Bayern Munich went a goal down and came back to win was just five games ago against Hoffenheim in Hoffenheim. Came back to win 2-1 on that occasion. Pranic whip that ball in. We'll have to see whether Gladbach try and sit back and defend this 1 0 lead for the next 80 minutes. It's unlikely. Cross. Hellman digs it out, but the foul was from Levels, and that's another free kick in a dangerous position. Toby Levels, another one of the home-produced talents of Gladbach. Gomez looking at the back. And that's in there, and that's it in the back of the net, and they're all square after just 11 or 10 and a bit minutes. Gomez on fire. He scored three times against Gladbach previously. All of them with his left foot. Well, this one's a header, but as I said before, they all count. That's some woeful defending by Anderson as they were lining up for that free kick. He let Gomez steal a march on him. And you just cannot do that with Mario Gomez. Five goals now for the season. And that's just in the league. Got that hat-trick against Kludge. And isn't it funny how one man's misery is another man's joy? Profiting from the injuries to Klauser and Olic and Ribery and Robin. Gomez, who seemed to find it so hard to score previously, now just can't stop scoring. It has to be said that... Uh, Gladbach are currently the worst home team in the league. Although Bayern have won just one of their four away games this season. And that was that 2-1 at Hoffenheim. Referee waves play on. Two points to their name so far at home this season, Gladbach. 
Seven games ago was their last home win. 2 0 win over Frankfurt on match day 30 of last season. So it's all square. Free kick again for Bayern Munich. Tony Kroos there. Got his first and so far only uh, brace in the Bundesliga against Gladbach in the first half of last season. And he got that uh, double for Bayer Leverkusen. So after an optimistic start. All square. They're going to squeeze Gomez out if they can. The Gladbach defence. Keeping Gomez quiet again, but he only needs that one chance. We've seen it already. To the truck. And that was uh, nicely done. From Schweinsteiger, but he was uh, dumped unceremoniously onto his back. Gladbach have conceded at least one goal in each of their last 14 Bundesliga games. They're extending that one to 15 now. But it has been the defence that has been the problem so far this season for Gladbach. 30 goals conceded. Only 14 scored. Well, both of those tallies up by one now. De Michaelis. Got back into the side last week against Freiburg. Scored the opening goal. And Gladbach do have quite a good record against Bayern Munich at home. It's just the way they have the problems. They've only ever won there once. Can you believe in uh, 44 games? Out in top. And there was uh, a little bit of contact between... Uh, Schweinsteiger, I think it's Toby Levels. Schweinsteiger trying to just nip in front. Nice ball from Timotrup, controlled by Altin Top, and the save coming from Christopher Heimerwald was very much needed. Altin Top, another one of those players benefiting from the current injuries, but that was a good ball from Timotrup, had the right weight on it, and enough speed to get past the defence. Straight at Heimerwald from uh, Altin Top, well, that's the first. Corner on that side, Pranic. Ball well headed away.
First corner of the game that was. Tommy Course getting some instructions on the touchline. A bit of a knock, ready to come back on. Picked up a knock in midweek as well against uh, Kludge. Obviously, Bayern can't afford to lose too many players. They do have uh, Edson Brafheit, Thomas Muller, and David Alaba on the bench. and Pranic. Van Boyten tidying things up. Pretty much bossing this game right now. Choosing their moment. Glad back after that dream start. Brought back to reality by Mario Gomez. Playing a bit of a dangerous game. Getting shut down by Bayern Munich. There was not a lot that Heimerwald could do with it. That was good pressing from Bayern. Good tackle. Back, finding it difficult to get the ball. Now a chance, perhaps. Patrick Hammond, who scored the goal, going all the way, hesitated. Great tackle. Caught Ottel unawares. Bobadilla wants to go for glory when maybe he should have thought about it a bit more. The Gladbach player is certainly showing some commitment. That was a grand tackle. Possibly a little push from Ottel on Herman. Maybe just a slight. Stabbed pass could have uh, brought a little more. And that was a good tackle too, right in front of the ref. Of course. Good foot in from Levels.
to Michaelis with time to think. Schatten dispossessed. Altintop looks up. And another good tackle. Levels again, and it's still not clear. That one's going to pop up nicely. Chance from distance, took a deflection. Off of Bamba Anderson. Pranic walloping that one. And it actually, it would, uh, I think that came off of Schweinsteiger. Yes, indeed it did. Well, that should have been uh, a goal kick. Instead, it's a corner. Oh, and there were some attempts. Uh, the overhead bicycle kick there is still not cleared. Alton tops cross. Slightly lacking. Bombardier gets the throw. Well, it was 26 years ago that a team last had such a current total for goals after 10 matches. Braunschweig got 31. They were relegated at the end of the season. Well, Michel Fronsek uh, might find the air getting a bit thin around his position if they were to lose today. And the way Bayern are playing at the moment, I don't think it's going to be too long before they get that second goal that they're after. Philipp Lahm, good ball from him. Schweinsteiger. Out in top. Ottel wanted it in the centre. Lahm with the cross straight into the arms of Heimerwood. And with all the uh, Gladbach team in their own half, nowhere really to kick that ball out too swiftly to start a counter-attack, so he's had to wait. to Schachten. It's his birthday today. And he did get an early present there from Patrick Herman. Mario Gomez spoiling the party at the moment. Not seen a lot from Big Mo Idrisu so far in this game. Still looking a bit concerned. Things not going as well at Bayern for him as he might have hoped. There's a little bit of friction in the air between him and Hernes and Rummenigge. Gomez looks for the shots. Puts his arm up when he had plenty of time to think about it. Levels is having a good game so far. Shot coming off uh, Philip Dems. Backside, but uh, another corner for Bayern. Headed away. Only as far as Timothy. That's a good ball out to Kors. Now leave that one. Royce got the call from Heimerod. I know I keep going on about uh, them being uh, 10 points off the leaders by Munich, but they've uh, done it before 17 years ago, in fact, 93 94. Frankfurt were 10 points clear at the top. A 
It's a good ball in. Heimerod didn't know whether to come and take that or not. In the end, he got lucky. Anderson not having the best of games. And a few uh, new signings that uh, Gladbach made in the off-season. Along with uh, Idrisu. They've actually met before Van Gaal and Fonsek on the pitch. 85-86, they met in the second round of the UEFA Cup. Fonsek for Borussia and uh, Van Gaal for Sparta Rotterdam. First leg was 1-1 in Rotterdam. And they got turned over 5-1 in Gladbach. And they both played for the full 90. Little touch off for Timochuk. Got in top to Lam. And when they win the ball back, glad back, they find it very hard to get it out of their own half at the moment. in top and Schachten nicely done Turkish international got the ball through it's off the bar from Schweinsteiger a let off for Gladbach out in top with great work getting that ball back into the danger area and this time levels not managing to close down Schweinsteiger Heimerod swipes at it, but it's the aluminium that keeps Gladbach in the game. Just on the half-hour mark. So a let-off for Gladbach. This is uh, his 23rd Bundesliga game for Gladbach, uh, Christopher Heimerwort. He's only had three victories. In his time between the posts. That was a little better. Daniel van Boyten. Yeah, but really hasn't had much to do the whole game apart from that one episode right after five minutes when he misjudged that cross Ottle pumped away to a safety Ooh, dodgy stuff maybe you're thinking uh, like me, that maybe not all of those uh, defeats that Heimerot has suffered have always been his fault, but uh, back passes like that can put the keeper under terrible pressure. Frustrated by the referee's whistle. 
caught course on the ankle. Fontek not impressed with the decision. He's come up against uh, Bayern Munich uh, quite often, facing them uh, seven times in the Bundesliga. Five defeats, one draw, one victory, but that was when he was with Alemannia Aachen. He's got the, currently the uh, worst points per game average of all the current Bundesliga coaches. corner fourth of the game now for Bayern Munich Bradley stopping the cross though conceded seven goals from corners this season Borussia Mönchengladbach Three from free kicks. You can make that four now. And I think he was let down a little by his defence. And that Gomez goal. Schachten. Oh, nice little touch off. Flags up, though. Robert Kempter. With the flag up. Good call. Ten minutes to the break. One one the score. Bayern Munich with the majority of uh, possession. That was nicely done. Gomez keeps the ball in. Bradley comes in and tidies up. Sporting the Michel Fonsec Appreciation Society haircut. Bayern still keep possession. They've had uh, nearly 77% of possession so far. To Michaelis having a little wander up front. That's a good ball too. Good stuff. 2-1. No. Stopped. Course tries to chip the keeper. Good save by Heimerwald. Busy afternoon for Christopher Heimerwald. That was a good ball from Dimichelis and an excellent pass on to Gomez. And quick thinking. And was Heimerwald on that or did that one just hit the crossbar? It might have just been the crossbar again that saved Gladbach. Maybe a fingertip. And to be fair to Heimerwald, he probably had that covered. And that was how the uh, coaches on the bench saw that one. I don't think a single one of them went, ooh. Alting top. Brought down by Idrisu.
Well, they've had different fortunes since the 70s, these two teams. They dominated uh, German football in that time. Although Gladbach's era seems to be over. But still 1 1, keeping the ball out one way or another. Although there'll probably be a lot of thanks given to the bar if uh, they can keep the score of Bayern Munich at just one. Over the top, Royce never going to get there. Again, levels with a foot in there. Schweinsteiger looked to the referee for possible dangerous play, but the referee wasn't having it. And he's allowed play to continue again. Good foot in from Schweinsteiger. Now, of course. Finds his captain. Out in top. Goes for pace again, gets past Schachten. Gomez was the target for that cross again, as you'd expect. Uh, Royce tries to sell the dummy to uh, Timochuk. Bayern with possession once more. Pranic. Oh, good thinking and a beautiful goal from Bastian Schweinsteiger, making it 2-1. You felt it was coming. And that was delicate. Pranic, who's been providing a lot of goals of late. That's his fourth in the Bundesliga. And Schweinsteiger's second goal. It was a good thinking by Pranic. And a little back heel from Schweinsteiger. And the score is 2-1 to the visitors. Again, Anderson the man, and this time a reaction from the bench. And is that a half smile from Thomas Muller? He's enjoying the goal, but not enjoying not being on the pitch. Thumbs up from Louis van Gaal. Yet skates losses. <laughs> Looks as if he said there, which means now it's going to get going. Schweinsteiger. Can't get past Neustädter. Well, not fairly at least. So, four minutes to go to the half time whistle and Bayern Munich. Deservedly in front. I've already hit the bar twice. Another opportunity. Oh, he's gone down. Referee's pointed straight to the spots. Much to the boos and whistles of the crowd, but that looked like a 100% penalty to me. And the yellow card as well. Well, if you're having a bad day, you're having a bad day. On his birthday, out in top. Uh, Brought down by the birthday boy, Sebastian Schachten. It's 
So now a chance to make it 3 1. Schweinsteiger puts the ball on the spot. What can Heimerud do? And he did well in the cup a couple of weeks ago against Leverkusen. Oh, and he's had a let off. Went the wrong way, but once more, the aluminium coming to Borussia Mönchengladbach's aid. Unfortunately for Bayern, but very fortunately. Disbelief from the crowd. Will they live to regret that? Second half is coming up. Or rather, the end of the first half's coming up. Time for Gladbach to regroup, rethink. And there was contact there, and the referees allowed play to continue. I don't think it was anything much. He was making the most of it. We'll have another little look at that. Gladbach fans infuriated. Let's have another little look here. Gomez just standing straight and tall. Blocking the run of Patrick Herman, it's true. Well, that's quite a wide back that he's got there. And Patrick Herman bounced off it. I'm not sure there was any deliberate effort there, more than just to block the run a little bit. And they seem to have... Uh, kissed and made up. There we go, that's good. Schweinsteiger takes the throw. Gomez. Andy Ottel lurking on the edge of the box. Out in top. Overlap from Philip Lahm. Out in top. Wins the corner. It's the fifth one of the game. And I'm not sure if we'll be seeing Idris Sue in the second half. He's really not done a lot. Mind you, he's not had a lot to... Uh, a lot of service up front there. Maybe we'll see a substitution or two at half time from Michel Fronsek. Branic thumps it hard. Possibly a little too hard. And the referee blows the whistle and brings the half to an end. Whistles from the home fans. Bayern Munich going two goals to one up. Mario Gomez and Bastian Schweinsteiger, the scorers for them. That surprise lead on five minutes from Patrick Herman, snuffed out just six minutes later by Mario Gomez. But they've had a lot of luck as well, Gladbach. Two efforts onto the bar and one penalty miss from Schweinsteiger, which, as you can see, he's not happy about at all. Join me, Phil Bonney, for the second half in about a quarter of an hour, and we'll see whether or not there'll be some more goals in this game. I get the feeling that there just might. Join me then. Hello and a warm welcome back to the Borussia Park Stadium match day 11. 2-1 the score at half time to Bayern Munich in this classic matchup between these two teams that dominated the 1970s in German football. Dominating today though very much it is uh, Bayern Munich. A couple of changes at half time. Schachten going off on his birthday, not having the best of birthdays. And Roald Brovers coming on for him. Also, I'm led to believe that Igor Di Camargo is coming on in place of Mo Idrisu, which seems like a sensible idea. We, or I talked about uh, the fact that Idrisu wasn't really getting much of uh, the ball in the first half. So, 2 1 at half time. Goals from Patrick Herman on five minutes and uh, then Gomez on 11 and Schweinsteiger on 40 but it really should have been 
many more on the half hour mark. Uh, Schweinsteiger hitting the bar, Kroos hitting on hitting it about uh, eight or nine minutes later, and then Schweinsteiger missing a penalty after Altintop had been brought down in the box by the uh, unlucky today Schachten. It must be said that against no other team have Bayern Munich conceded more away goals. 68 now. But that's not doing Gladbach any good as they are a goal behind. They'll have the kickoff in the second half. Di Camargo standing there with Bobadilla. Referee Knut Kirscher blows the whistle. And the home fans will expect a little bit more from their side in this second half. I'm Phil Bonney, if you're just joining us. I'll be with you right through till the end of the 45. Not a lot that uh, Christopher Heimerwald could do about either of the goals. A little bit of dodgy defending from uh, Bamba Anderson. Letting Gomez in for that first one. So, can Gladbach catch Bayern Munich quickly like they did in the first half after just five minutes Bobadilla lays it off but that's well won back by Levels good work from Tobias Levels over the top and the header but there was uh, an infringement flags up from uh, Stefan Lupp Had a thought, think about it. Uh, did the referee's assistant before putting his flag up. Ball given away. Here's Bradley. Oh, that's asking a lot. Philip Lahm getting in with the slide. Herman wanted to take it quickly, but waits in the end for Dems. Pranic. Uh, Timochuk, I beg your pardon. And uh, something for Altin Top to chase. Bradley. Sitting very deep in the first half. Gladbach. It was necessary. In terms of possession, uh, only had about 24% uh, in the first half. Martin Top wants to take the throw. Gladbach thought that was their ball. The referee saw it differently. in the second half. It looks like Bradley is uh, going to be more of a focus for the passes. Neustadter couldn't pick that one up. Timachuk dispossessed. Neustadter to Bobadilla. Hermann Gets past Lahm and is brought down by Timachuk. That might just be a card. The referee wants a word, that's his last warning. There was a little bit of uh, an attempt to play the ball from Timachuk. Takes it on the chin, though. Free kick from Bradley. Headed away.
by Van Boyten only as far as Bobadilla. And that will be the first corner of the game for Gladbach. No doubt Michel Fronsek with a few things to say at half-time. They've got that big derby coming up next time out, away at Cologne. The derby's, of course, more important to the fans than a lot of other games. Oh, there was the chance. Not taken. Roman Neustädter. Almost seemed to hesitate. Bradley heading that one back forward. And the three had a little think about that one as well. Schweinsteiger catching levels this time. Had a similar incident in the first half the other way round. Camargo back helping out. Levels. Room for Herman. Herman's pass. Blocked only as far as Neustädter. Bradley. Good work from Bradley. He's not going to be able to get there in time, though. They're trying, Gladbach. They certainly are. I'm now trying to uh, slow this down ever so slightly. But we'll get there first. Oh, that's good work from Levels once more. Good ball towards Bobadilla. It's come to Patrick Herman. Oh, he's gone for glory and he's absolutely... Broken some of the hearts behind that goal. Leaning back. Dimichelis with the ball back. Causing a little trouble for But Dimichelis not the flavour of the month that by Munich as it is. Another of those players I mentioned earlier playing really due to injuries in the squad. Back fans trying to get behind their team. As fans everywhere, they don't mind as long as they feel that the team are trying their hardest. Neustädter having his final warning as well. Bit of a straight leg going through there. Having a quick word with his colleagues over the headset.
Schweinsteiger, Timochuk. This is Lahm. Good foot in from Neustädter to Camargo. Oh, good control. Royce, oh, super goal. Marco Royce scores and makes it 2 2. And they've deserved it in the second half. They've taken it to Bayern. Great control from the youngster. Marco Royce scoring his second goal of the season. Schweinsteiger dispossessed. And Royce just punching that one into the bottom corner. Di Camargo's assist. It was great control from Royce. And that's the kind of reaction that Gladbach fans want to see. Something to sing about once more. They're back in the game. But now it's Munich coming through Pranic, straight into the arms of Heimerwald. And he'll want to keep that ball for as long as possible. Another essay being written there by Louis van Gaal. So once more, the belief is back. Is it their day? They've hit the aluminium three times by Munich. And it's 2-2. Two -two. Well, last season, they had a habit of letting Leeds slip away from them, uh, Gladbach. They're getting turned over. Maybe the boots on the other foot this time. And they had that glorious 6 3 win away at Leverkusen on match day two. And since then, it's been pretty dire. And this was the ball. Beautifully controlled by Royce. That first touch, so important. Did he mean it? Or was that an accident? It doesn't matter. He had the presence of mind to make use of the ball where it fell. A little slip from Tony Kors. Royce again. <laughs> Dribbling himself round in circles. Levels. Just a forward wallop. Van Boyten keeps it in play. Only as far as Royce again. Oh, Royce is on fire at the moment. Can do no wrong. And foul from course. <laughs> 
So a lot of discussion in the Bayern Munich defence now. And there's a Bayern Munich head on that, or so we thought. Also a lot of the crowd thought, but uh, Anderson sprinting back. Well, will uh, Michel Fronsek still be in office come Monday morning? Nicely done, Pranic trying to drag back Royce. Oh, good work from De Camargo! They're in front! Gladbach are in front against Bayern Munich. And it's no more than they deserve in this second half. De Camargo brought on by Michel Fonsec at the beginning of the second half. Made the second goal and scored the third. And Bayern Munich are starting to look at each other. Igor Di Camargo, the Brazilian Belgian, scoring his first ever Bundesliga goal. Took it well. Through the belt and braces of Hans Jörg Butt. And Michel Fonsec looks as if his head's about to explode. As Di Camargo makes it 3-2. Well, what a turnaround for Gladbach. They were in front, they were behind, they were level. And now they're in front once more. And all of a sudden, all those Gladbach fans that were booing not 20 minutes ago are in fine voice. Football is very fickle sometimes. Now the question is, can they hang on? Can Bayern get back into the game? Or will Gladbach just park their team bus in front of the goal? Away to the right. And hope that Munich can't find a way through. Soon be time for Thomas Muller, I feel. Herman. Mm, the header from De Camargo wasn't brilliant. Course has picked it up for Bayern Munich. Here's Timocha. They played so well midweek against Kludge. Ball from Lahm. Aimed at Gomez. Picked up by Levels. Now Di Michelis. Out in top, who was having such a fun time against Schachten, finding it not so easy now against Boers. Pranic. Out in top will keep that one in. Lahm. Header towards the top corner, but... Heimerbord with plenty of time to see it coming. How important will those two hits of the bar and that missed penalty by Schweinsteiger be at the end of this game? They could have been 5 1 up at half time. Timachuk just hammering it forward. Out in top. Got the luck of the bounce. Gomez wanted that played. Alton Top couldn't find room to squeeze it through to him. Course. Ottle. And that'll be a throw in. out to Pranic. Ottle again. Pranic again. 
Weighs up the cross. There's Ballers. Bobadilla. Close attention from Van Boyten. Van Boyten comes off the better of the two. Good fast passing now from Bayern Munich. Pranic in an offside position. Here's that long ball again. Bradley's header. De Camargo going round Van Boyten as if he wasn't there. And it was 3-2. Big smiles. From the ex-standard Liege man. They played four million euros for him. And if that's the winning goal, it'll certainly uh, have been worth a bit of that. But there's still a lot of football to be had in this game. Only 65 minutes gone. So depending on stoppages, that could be nearly a half an hour for Bayern Munich to get a point back. Or even take the game. We've seen how quickly things can go here. This time it's uh, Bayern Munich that are being pushed back in towards their own keeper. Well, the tactical changes at half-time, the removal of Schatten and uh, Idrisu have certainly reaped rewards in the second half. There's Uli Hernes and uh, Karl-Heinz Rummenigge, amongst others of the, uh, the board of Bayern Munich, not looking so happy as they were after the first 45. Van Boyten. Prangic, now Schweinsteiger. Not seeming to know exactly where they want to be going with this at the moment. Gladbach pushing them back. And they've lost possession. No one there. And here is Thomas Muller. Maybe for uh, Altin top. That would be my guess. We'll just have to wait and see. Bradley. A kick from Heimerholt. Team like Bayern Munich will keep their call, cool, will wait for their opportunity. Anderson protesting his innocence. It's not going to do him any good. I 
fairly innocuous. He's only going to get himself into trouble if he protests. So it's Andy Ottolis coming off. OK, so my guess was wrong. Going for a little bit more attacking muscle. So there's the uh, tactical change. Miller passing on the information to Altintop. And the free kick flying high, and uh, Heimelwald not sure whether or not he should come for that or not. In the end, probably a good job that he did. Just pause it away from Schweinsteiger. It's another corner for Munich. Dimichelis. And Heimerwald. And this time there's the option of the long ball. Bobadilla hoping for a mistake, not getting one though. Twenty minutes to play. Will the addition of Muller add a little bit more fire to the Bayern attack? Schweinsteiger, nicely done. And again, a lot of possession. Oh, levels set. Uh, making contact with Pranic. Just stepped on the top of his foot. Tony Kors. Well hit, and Levels once more. He's having a great game today, Toby Levels. And another corner for Bayern Munich. Pranic goes across. Van Boyten has scored one so far. This season. It was actually Kors that took the corner. Here he is again. It's blocked. Oh, and they've come away with it. A little bit of a lucky bounce, but Bobadilla has got it. That's asking too much. And now Bayern Munich with the break on into the corner for Miller, but it's just got a little bit too much pace on it. A little bit of a case of the Werder Bremens here for Bayern Munich. They've had their chances and they've not taken them. What a classic victory this would be for bottom of the table, Gladbach. Louis van Gaal said that they shouldn't underestimate Gladbach. A team on the bottom of the table is fighting for every single point. And they've shown that in the second half. <laughs> Referee wants to try and play advantage. Dems muscles his way through. Oh, as well won again. There's some fight in this Gladback team now. Here's Royce. Oh, he's gone past. Can they get a fourth? Straight at Butts. Bradley. Herman's waiting. 
Goes out for a throw to Gladbach. This is a different team in this second half. On both accounts, Bayern far too passive. Gladbach suddenly have uh, found some teeth from somewhere. Herman will go for a shot. No. Nope. Thought about it, though. His levels. It's good movement in the box. Bradley still with a lot of room. Wastes it in the end, though. The American international gives it back to the red and white stripes. Got plenty on the overlap. Here's uh, Pranic once more. Ball bobbling around. There's course Timachuk in the centre. Lam in plenty of room. It'll get to him eventually. And does. Timachuk gives it away. Bradley. Gives it back. Good running from Van Poyten. Muller decides to play the ref in. Schweinsteiger. Nice pass. Goes astray. I'm not saying a word. Good tackle from Boers. Gomez looked to have been through. And here they come again. What has gone on with this team this afternoon? That's a free kick. But it's a free kick to Bayern Munich. Royce and Lahm. Philip Lahm. Getting the ball away. <laughs> Out in top. Bayern Munich starting to get a little bit desperate, perhaps. It's a thumping challenge. The referee is going to make sure that uh, everything's all right. I think that might be Di Camargo that's on the floor. Awkward landing. Not quite as bad as a Qantas landing, but all the same, he came down a bit hard. My apologies to the uh, National Carrier of Australia. Schweinsteiger showing a bit of fight now. Chested off nicely by Muller. Now the captain. Still missing uh, Mark van Bommel, of course, as well by Munich. And this is the time where Gladbach have to be very careful. Ten minutes to play.
Munich with a lot more of the possession again now. Gladbach have uh, conceded 21 goals in the second half of games. Although, perversely, in this game they haven't conceded any goals in the second half. So much for statistics. Free kick. Pranic. Anywhere will do at this point in time. That back again, sitting very deep. Good challenge again from Bors. Judge that one exactly right. So Pranic getting the rest. And the number 27, uh, uh, 27 David Alaba, the uh, Austrian international. With uh, Nigerian roots. And a substitution as well for Gladbach. Patrick Herman holding his thigh. On comes Karim Mutmore. They're easing him back. After a long time out uh, through injury. I really didn't think he would play at all today. Alaba and Bradley putting out for another corner of course with the corner headed away by Levels and again by Bobadilla tangling with uh, Alaba ever so slightly now it's Altin top too deep and that'll be another corner. Nine corners and a quick look at the watch. Only about seven or eight minutes left. Course again. Easy header this time at the near post. Bobadilla with a chance. And that one drops kindly for Bayern Munich. Well, Bayern have scored 42% of their goals in the final 15 minutes. Gladbach only 7%. And they look as if they're going to try and give Bayern the opportunity to score. They need to clear that ball. Pranic goes to Muller. He scuffs his shot in. Mark Moore slips. Starting to look a little bit sticky now for Gladbach. Altin top tries the cross once more. Timochuk scored his first goal of the season last season. Chance now for Philip Lahm. It's 3 3. Philip Lahm scores his first goal of the season. And Gladbach are pegged back to level terms. And once more, that Gladbach defence is found wanting. Just those last couple of minutes, you could feel the pressure. It was almost at bursting point. Timochuk, who scored his first goal last season. Uh, last week, and uh, scored his first goal for Bayern Munich. Responsible. And Bayern Munich are back with a point. Thanks to the captain. 
With five minutes to play, is there going to be a dramatic end to this? Karl-Heinz Rummenigge and Uli Hernes. As always with that scarf on. Never, ever, ever write Bayern Munich off. Because they will play till the last whistle. The Gladbach fans who were anticipating a great victory. Might still get it, you know. But Philip Lahm hammering that one in. And when do we ever see him have a bad game? You can count them on the fingers of one finger. Pulver's not happy. Will the red tide sweep forward and steal all three points? They were certainly way the better team in the first half. Gladbach were worth their lead in the second, but now they're under the cosh once more. Alaba gives it away. Wins it back. Referee not interested. Gomez! Quick turn and fire from the big striker. This was the incident. Schweinsteiger just stayed where he was. The right decision from the referee, in my opinion. Oh, a dramatic game, but a point against Bayern Munich at home. You'd probably settle for that before the game, wouldn't you? They had that uh, spell in the second half. Of about 15 minutes where they turned the game around. Oh, Bobadilla just had the ball come in behind him. Royce biting at Tony Corsa's ankles. Levels with the header. Away by Di Michaelis, now Schweinsteiger. Will there be a dramatic finish to this game? Thomas Muller against Anderson. Does well to retain possession. Timachuk. Schweinsteiger. Over the top. There's Mark Moore to head it away. Bombardier gets it under control this time. Nicely done. Head down, needs to look up, needs to see who's around him. He's had a chance to do that now. Mark Moore's in the centre. Oh, it seems to be the Bobadilla show at the moment. Tried to take it past one too many. And that won't make him popular. Way too much possession. He's just asking to be dispossessed. Out in top. Bradley. Timochuk. Ball over the top towards Gomez, but again, Toby levels there. The referee blows the whistle because the flag's up. Bobadilla up on over. That's not cleared properly either. Royce going to desperately try and get there before Van Boyten, but he wins the throw. What a great talent he is as well, Marco Royce. That second goal he got. Maybe a bit of luck involved, but he took it well. Bobadilla is into the box. Does he win the corner? 
Yes, he does. The referee's assistant had to think about it. He got past Alaba. Already had his finger up. It's only the second corner of the game. Schweinsteiger not happy with the decision. Now can we get a dramatic last-minute winner? Bradley to take. It's a bit low, and it's headed away easily. And that one's going all the way back to Heimerwald. There are two minutes of time added on. Is it going to be a point apiece? Or is one team going to steal it away from the other? It's an old cliche, but it's been a game of two halves. Very much the first half belonging to Bayern. Now the chance. Oh, wasted. Mark Moore, obviously, match practice uh, is going to be coming up in uh, reviews of the game in the press for him on this occasion. It's very deep, heading back. Oh, very nearly from Tony Kors. Heimerwald delighted to see that one go past the post. But Gladbach do have a great record at home against Bayern Munich. 16 draws, nine defeats, 17 wins. Timachuk's header. Now Bradley just wallops it forward. And that's going to be too long as well. As the game starting to dribble out. Now Heimerwald will be in no hurry whatsoever to kick this ball up the field. 20 seconds to play. And it's a point hard-earned for Gladbach. Kept in by Mark Moore. And he stays on his feet too. Is there the possibility that we're going to see something extraordinary here? Time is now officially up. The referee looks at his watch. That's... The end of the game, and it's a point apiece. Will it be enough to secure Flonsek's job? Very possibly. Will that uh, cause more friction between Uli Hernis and Louis van Gaal? Also very possibly, but the final score from the Borussia Park Stadium is Borussia Mönchengladbach 3, Bayern Munich 3. Take care, catch you next time. Hello? Yes, you. Where are you going? The Bundesliga on YouTube. Subscribe now. <laughs> Football as it's meant to be.